Hey everyone, it's Dave here and today we'll be talking about Pavlov Shack Beta. The journey of this game with Oculus and just getting to the story in general is probably the most chaotic experience that any game in history of VR will have. And we're not even on the official story yet, because Pavlov Shack only got on the App Lab for now, so this kind of feels like a tragic story, but it's better than nothing to be honest. If you were living under the rock, Pavlov Shack is essentially the quest version of PC VR build, with most mechanics and just gameplay features being conserved for the standard build. It's essentially an action shooter game, mostly resembling those games that play like Counter-Strike, Contractors Onward, all of those are pretty similar but focus on different gameplay aspects. Pavlov to me specializes in team deathmatch or capture the flag modes when you cooperate with teammates to score the win. It's the most arcade of all shooters in this genre. So last time I played this game was more than one year ago and when I came back to it I truly felt like I'm playing the same game. And it's like of course, it should be like that, but I didn't see the noticeable upgrade from the build that I played played one year ago and now, which to me, when I check out games that put out updates in their development time, feels weird since I can't really tell what's new or what's different. And what makes things worse, the beta build that went to AppLab now is much worse than the one before, like it constantly crashes for me, the frame rate is horrendous, and it's nothing on my part because the first build I played on Quest 1 and Quest 2 should be better, but it's much worse, so that's very weird. Build performance aside, the gameplay seemed more fluid, but I couldn't tell if it was because I'm more experienced in VR compared to before, that I have more knowledge how to behave in games like that and what to look for, but the gameplay itself was fine and it worked, minus few weird interactions that was iffy, but I can pass it for the beta version. There's many opinions that Pavlov Shack should be way earlier on the official store released and just thrive there, because it's essentially releasing as really the last one out of the bunch after Contractors onward just every other title that released so far. And then developer of Pavlov Shack had some controversies with Oculus, honestly I can't tell if people lead by delusion or are just extremely biased, but to me, Pavlov Shack, even in this state, does not feel to be even close, performance wise, to be on the official store. So that's why it's on App Lab now, for free. But the premise was changed as well. They said that if Shack will leave the beta stage, it's gonna cost 25 bucks when it was scheduled to be a free to play shooter game for Quest. And that was broken. So I have no idea what's going on. And like for me, the future of this game is like very shaky if we're talking about just being on good terms with either their Oculus of the community, but there's a lot of bullshit going on in the background, and I don't know all the details, of course, I just look on the surface and what's going on publicly, but I don't really care to be honest, I just look at the game and how it performs, and that's on what I judge it on, so. There's my two cents, and let's go to the gameplay. I think this is gonna be pretty much the same situation that we had with Hand Physics Lab. It was at least one year that I did not even play Pavlov. And it's mostly because I'm not into shooters like that. I'm gonna be mostly looking at the upgrade and what I can kinda remember. I can already tell that this was not here, <laughs> like the main menu in the Siberia or something. It actually looks like Vanishing Grace from this. <laughs> first things first, as always, settings. Oh damn, a lot of haptics. Smooth turn. Seems everything fine. So we have like new additional things. Stats. Coming soon, of course. Customize. Oh, coming soon. Lovely. <laughs> so what's not coming soon? Turning? Okay. Let's just start with basic tutorial. Oh, wait. I actually remember this. Yeah, it is the same thing. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait. It crashed? That's not good. I'm just gonna do like a kill house or just like something to just test the mechanics and just like how to play in general. Wait. Is, am I crazy or FPSs are so fucking low here? This is not even 60 FPSs, this is like 40. Ow, my eyes. It's weird, okay. Yeah, even when I'm shooting, it's like, I'm on quest too, but this is not like fluid at all. Like, when I move my head, like, the frames keep, the scenery, ow, gets blurred? I don't even want to look. Let me just cross it somehow. And I wanna go to the main menu. It fucking crashes. What the hell? Like, Pavle from one year ago was not that unstable. Like, I'm so confused what's going on. When I look at this rack, it is bad. Ow, fuck. I guess it's this rack of weapons is making some weird performance issues. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> what is it? Is this grenade? Oh, oh. Reloading was... Ah, it was with trigger. That was what's weird. Like, you would not like grab the magazine, but just like grab button. You would have to grab it with trigger, and that's how you reload, and then you switch it here. 
Okay. Now. Oh. Okay, I think I got it. Let's do the, I don't know, some offline, whatever. I don't want to crash. Oh, here we go. <laughs> For the first time I didn't crash. Let's see. Team deathmatch, I guess, should be the classic. Oh, I love this shotgun. <laughs> What the hell? How was reloading with this? Oh, okay. Oh, hello? Oh, I think it was uh, randomizing weapons in this mode. Cheat. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Uh, oh no, I want this actually. <laughs> There's no music, there's nothing going on. Am I killing my own teammates? Oh, <laughs> the blue ones I had to kill. <laughs> That's why I'm not playing with other people. <laughs> okay, he's mine. Why he's running so funny? Oh. My dude, are you okay? Oh, okay, yeah. What is even happening? I'm not even looking at the scope, I'm just shooting like that. Yeah, mine, okay. Mine as well. Wait, what? The nickname was too far away to even know who was that. It should appear like at the end of the corridor, at least. I can't tell if it's mine or not. Should I just shoot? Oh my god, there's so, so many people here. Who's who? Are you mine? No, wait. Yes? Uh, what is really happening? I'm just shooting everyone that moves. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> if you're from my team or not, give me this. Yes. No, no, no. You die. You die. Everyone dies. What's my score? <laughs> you won't escape from me. Oh shit. Hehe. <laughs> you dead, you dead, you dead. Actually the reloading seems more fluid than it used to be. Ouch. And I'm not sure if it's because of my VR experience already. Because I've had problems to find the buttons. Ow. It doesn't seem different from what I last time played one year ago. Like it seems pretty much exact same thing with new UI. And that's it. That's the zombies. Am I gonna be alone? I think I'm gonna be alone. Wait, this is the same hospital that I played the first time. It feels weird. Like I'm stuck in one like time dimension. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hello? Oh my god, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 oh, no. <laughs> I do not like things that are running at me like that. Oh my god. Oh, peace and quiet. Yeah, let me snipe you with this machine gun. Uh, let me reload. Haha. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh oh, where's the. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Just, yeah, give me a minute. Here we go. <laughs> oh, randomized weapons now on the kill. I hear someone moving. Are you in a stroll? Oh, shit. <laughs> What it was that? Oh, 
Oh, it means that uh, the weapon just switched. Maybe let's play with some people. Servers, oh my god, a lot of servers, just like in Hyperdash or something. I'm not Latency America. Ow, what the fuck hit me <laughs> in the main menu? <laughs> this is USA as well, but like, the pink is low, makes no sense. Yeah, man. Shot once and no magazine. Uh, Pavlov is not for me, that's why like I don't do those types of games, but I'm a little bit confused because did this version not change at all or am I crazy? I mean, I know I'm crazy, but <laughs> like I've paid contractors onward, like official stuff that released way before Pavlov even hit App Lab now, but like it feels so dated that it's not even appealing to play for some reason. I just feel like I already played this game and I should not feel that after more than one year of absence from the development and just updates, if any. At least it's free now, but it's gonna be 25 bucks when it's gonna leave the beta so i'm not sure how i feel about it but it is what it is for now i'm passing i don't care <laughs>